Well, Happy New Year to you. Good Monday morning. Welcome to our live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy with uh, Jim and Janine Fox of Doctors Nutrition located on Cowan Road in Gulfport, just south of Pass Road. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New, New Year. Year's. Everybody's uh, survived, survived the New Year's yeah. weekend yeah. and everything. Had a nice long weekend off. Of course, a uh, little bit of a change. Of course, we do have the live show here on Monday mornings, but it's no longer rebroadcast on Friday. So, uh, what you see right here, appreciate you joining in with us. At least you could call in and ask questions regarding the topic of the day. But first Monday of the month, we always have an open line day. Yes. yes. So, so you can call with any questions you have. Mm -hmm. Any issues you have, uh, right. hangover treatments or <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Best hangover treatment is not drink too much. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> prevention. You, uh, yeah, uh, was an ounce of prevention is worth a pound um, of cure. Exactly. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that one. But uh, our phone lines are 896 713 800 Three four nine zero seven one three. Uh, we're waiting to talk to you live, or if you uh, don't want to be on the air live with the doctors, uh, you just pass your question along to our um, our operator, and he'll be glad to pass that along to us. So, um, New Year's resolutions. Everybody talks about wanting to lose weight. I mean, we've mm -hmm. talked about this so many times. Uh, it's uh, lifestyle changes, things like that. A lot of it has to do with eating s smart. Yeah, it is. you know, it, it really does. You know, there's. We, we planned on like maybe next week we just to devote the whole show, show. To, to weight loss because that's a real big thing you know but you know t just like you said it's it's about a lifestyle change you know obviously what we do over the holidays you can't do all the time and no un and unfortunately a lot or of else do. I would never get back into these pants because yes. it was it was hard <laughs> enough getting into them this morning right because like up oh, no I yeah. put about six pounds on me over the holidays yeah, so he's the, he's the only one that loses weight over really? the holidays yeah, yeah so um, everywhere we go. You know, he can't eat anything, so he don't, you know, eat anything while we're there. We actually don't eat when we go out <laughs> around Christmas time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Will from Wiggins has got a question, wants to know, what is a good natural fat burner? Actually, there's nothing that you can take that's just going to make you magically burn fat and it go away. It's, it's, you've got to change the physiology of your body. And the way you do that is changing the diet. Okay, and if you change the diet, get rid of things that, that cause your body to store fat. For instance, the sugars, things that turn to sugar fast, like the bread, the rice, the pasta, the potatoes, starchy stuff. Get rid of that, and then your body will start burning fat for energy. And that's what you have to do, because there's not a pill. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I wish there were. There's not. There's a lot uh, of the people, people, things that people call fat burners, that right. what they are is stimulants. Right. And a lot of stimulants aren't necessarily good for you. Right. Um, the problem with stimulants is they can increase blood pressure. They can increase, and stimulants probably are not necessarily fat burners. They're more about making you not want to eat. Um, they're more appetite suppressants. More appetite suppressants. And so think. you don't, people, but the people think of stimulants as fat burners. When people come in looking for fat burners or looking for stimulants, and we don't carry a lot of stimulants. Now, yeah. there are some <clears throat> natural products that do help with making your body burn fat better. Like Boost your metabolism. CLA, conjugated well, with lactic acid. Just helps you utilize fat better. It does. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so we do have some things that help, but still if you don't change what you eat and change what yeah. you do, you're probably not gonna lose weight. There is no magic pill. That's what we tell people <laughs> daily. I wish there um, was. If yeah. there was a magic pill, everybody would be thin. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it would be a boring world. <laughs> it would be a boring world, right. Well, you know, I, I know one, one of the things, now my wife does this, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, she does real great with her weight and everything, and uh, I'm envious of her. I just don't, <laughs> I've got to get myself back, back into it. But I mean, she eats a sensible breakfast, mm -hmm. and then she'll, like 1030, she'll have a sensible snack. Mm -hmm. Because, and you know, and then a sensible, you know, a light lunch snack in the afternoon, and then a sensible dinner, and you know, doing like that, eating a couple little things, you know, like a little snack, like some almonds, yeah. something like that oh, during yeah. the That's day. Oh yeah, that's great. And mm -hmm. it just, you know, it makes your metabolism say, okay, I got to burn that, got to burn that, got to, and it, and it. As long as your snacks aren't full of carbohydrates. Well, right. exactly. If now your you, snacks are full of carbohydrates, they spike your insulin and make you store fat. Interesting that you brought up about the nuts because I just read this morning. There's a research article that was just published. And it's a meta uh, meta analysis, which they've looked at like thousands of you know research articles over the time. But they show that people who eat nuts, about an ounce of nuts per day, at least five or six times a week, mm -hmm. have a twenty percent chance, twenty percent less chance of dying from anything. Right. Really? Yeah. You also get the beneficial fats out of the nuts. That's I, and I keep a bag of, of almonds yeah. in my drawer yeah. upstairs. There's a lot of good amino the acids. Yeah. There's a lot of good properties to nuts. Right. But I mean, there, there's some that you, I, I guess, will say nuts. I mean, there's some yeah. that you, uh, a lot of cashews. I mean, the cashews has got. Um, They've got a little carbohydrate. Got a little carbohydrates uh, in them. 
Almonds but, uh, probably the best. Almonds, yeah. yeah almonds are. Really are. Uh, Kathy asks, probiotics, we've talked about them so many yes. times. Yeah. What are they? What do they do? And why are they so expensive? Well, what they are is, it's the if you look at our gut, our digestive tract, we actually have other things like probiotics or back, we call them probiotics because they're beneficial, but we have that and pathogens both, but we have somewhere around 10 to 14 trillion of these guys, little bacteria and so on in there and, and yeast and so on that inhabit our gut. Now they help us, you know, that's what they are. So they're beneficial bacteria, for instance. What they do is they help us break down the food and stuff that we eat because a lot of the food that we eat, for instance, everybody says, oh, blueberries are so good for you. If we didn't have probiotics in our digestive tract, we would not be able to break down the good stuff out of a blueberry. We can't digest it. So the good bacteria break down the cyanidins and we actually can then absorb them. So they're very beneficial. Now your probiotics are yeah. also, 70% of your immune system is in your gut, is in your mm -hmm. gut and it's your probiotics. So it really supports the immune system as well. And the question on why they're so expensive, um, depends on the probiotic. I mean, they're, they're harder to get. And I honestly, a lot of times you pay a lot for a very low amount to where you really need to look at what you're getting. Yeah, you know, the, the reason they're so expensive mm -hmm. is you, you're trying to isolate and grow beneficials. Right, without the pathogens. Without the pathogens, right. right. If, you, if you could just take everything, oh, no big deal. Yeah. But, you know, the way we normally get these beneficial bacteria in our, in our, in our diet, so for instance, is fermented foods are a big. You know, for instance, like uh, kefir. A lot of people drink kefir. Great stuff. Yogurt. Yeah, small amount of yogurt. Um, things like uh, sauerkraut. Yep. Wonderful. But yeah. the, the bad thing is some of the processing now, even on some of the sauerkrauts, right. they actually radiate them afterwards to kill off the bacteria so you don't have the pathogenic ones as well. So that kinda, But you don't have the beneficials yeah, either. Yeah, you don't have the beneficials either. Yeah. So you have to look at how it was processed It also. needs to be unprocessed. Unprocessed uh, And you get on the internet, you can even make your own um, sauerkraut. Now, I've had a few bad experiences in it. <laughs> this hadn't turned out too good. <laughs> it's back to the internet for Jim, but you know, uh, I'm sure it'll get worked out sooner or later. You know? There you go, there, there you go. go. Uh, Robin from Gulfport, uh, we're gonna get to your question in just a moment, Robin, so uh, just hang on, hang on to us. She's got a question, uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. 896-0713, 800-349-0713. We'll be back with our open line Monday in just a moment. And welcome back to our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy with Dr. Jim and Janine Fox and Doctors Nutrition located on Cowan Road in Gulfport, South and Pass Road. It's our open line Monday, so whatever question you have about uh, living a healthier life, please feel free to call in. Uh, Robin from Gulfport is on the phone with a question about lupus. Go ahead, Robin. Good morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, I was going is it, uh, is it um, hereditary? And um, what are the signs? that you would have it and is there like a supplement you can take and a, a certain diet you should eat if you if you do have lupus yep. it's really not necessarily hereditary it, they say it can be but well, most of it doesn't necessarily have to be what the genetics is telling us is that it's the only reason you'd say it was you know inheritable if you will or heritable is simply because if you can inherit certain things certain genes that turn off certain suppressor genes that you might have that would make you more susceptible to it. But it's not like it's, you know, if mom yeah. had it, you're going to have it. Um, but you're more of, susceptible to it. A lot of the it. symptoms, you said, what are the symptoms of lupus? A lot of people come in, they're just really fatigued. They mm -hmm. start having a lot of joint pain. It can even affect the kidneys. I mean, there can be so many different things oh, affected yeah. by lupus. So lupus is such a, a wide range of symptoms and a lot of times when people can't figure out what they have it is a good idea to rule out lupus now mm -hmm. you asked if there was any supplements we had and there's definitely things that we have to help with support the immune system you don't want to boost the immune system because mm -hmm. people think oh i'm going to boost my immune system well the immune mm -hmm. system if you boost it and you have an autoimmune disease you can attack yourself even more you make it worse. so we use um, actually a powdered colostrum and it is a it contains something called prrps um, proline rich polypeptides and those peptides Glad normalize <laughs> normalize the immune system instead of boost the immune system. We also use a lot of times and a lot of the research coming out and there's you know everything when research starts coming out some people say this is what it does and this is what I, I personally believe that a lot of the autoimmune diseases are from pathogens that are in the body whether it be a fungus, a virus, a bacteria, 
there's something. So we use something called Olivier, which is an antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, antiparasite. So it's a catch-all and it helps suppress maybe the cause. And so that is one of the things that can cause it. And I'm not saying that every per no. case of lupus is caused by a pathogen, but we have definitely seen that decreasing the pathogen in the body and keeping the immune system from overreacting definitely helps. Yeah, there's actually been some pretty decent research on, and you know, little clippets that came out here and there about the olive leaf yeah. extract, which is the olivier. And it, it shows to be, you know, have some very, especially in the animal model, have some very good results. So. Yeah, and even yeah, a lot um, of things we've help. used, we've talked about our Pernamax before, which has a lot of research for rheumatoid arthritis, but mm -hmm. there's even been some to come out on lupus yeah. and help with the joint pain with lupus because the Perna itself downregulates the immune system. So we got a lot of different things, and we always tell people you want to make sure your vitamin D levels are normal with lupus, you want to make sure your B12 levels, you know, just get overall optimal health. Right. So there's so much that goes along with that one. It really is. All right. Thank Good you question. very much for your call, Robin. Great question. 896 uh, Our phone lines are open to you. If you have a question uh, regarding anything regarding your health, it'll get, uh, you know, get you uh, kick-started here on this new year to live a, a healthier lifestyle, which is, you know, pretty much everybody says at the beginning of every year, um, you know, they, they want to... Um, lose weight, they want to quit smoking, they want to do exercise, this, do, the more, exercise, yeah. do this mm -hmm. and that and other thing. But uh, you know, one of the things that is important to do is you might want to find out exactly, you know, inside what's going on. Right. And oh, that's yeah. why, you know, that's why getting, you know, some blood work done, mm -hmm. blood panels, and you have, you know, a few different ones that you can do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you come and say, well, I have iron poor tire blood. You, you, you <laughs> used to see that commercial all yeah. the time. Yeah. Have iron poor tire yeah. blood. Yeah. Do you really know that? You know, right, so, because anyway. a lot of people come in thinking that they have iron deficiencies, and when we check them, they don't. So an yeah. iron is something that you don't want to just take unless you need it. All right, Francis from Ocean Springs, flathead warts on her, uh, his arms, has had them for years. How can he get rid of them? Uh, diet, supplements? It's not necessarily a diet. Uh, the supplement, now the olive leaf extract, yep. in, in a lot of cases. Olivier, yeah. Yeah, olivier. Because it's a lot of those have been linked back to some uh, viruses. Some viruses. Mm -hmm. and We've seen some people that, that if they would take enough of it, you know. And it takes a while. And it takes it, a while. It's not like you take right. it for a week and they're gone because, no. you know, Wish it doesn't work. happen that fast. Yeah. But the olive ear is what we will use, and yeah. you know, for the warts. We even have some little topical stuff for warts mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Okay. I think the internal stuff works better myself, but. Yeah. It just takes to. a little time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just takes yep. time. All right, great question. Thank yeah, you. Good question. Thank you for that question. Uh, 896 Now, we were talking about um, you know, um, getting blood work done, blood panels, and everything. Oh, think, because, yeah. you know, yeah. it, uh, and th there's, you know, different things that affect men and women. You know, there, there is, you know, and one of the things that, that you know, where we are today with, with health care in America, and Obamacare's gotten involved in, in, in just the amount of regulations and the garbage that's going on, it's unbelievable. So you're getting less and less care for more and more money, really. And you know, when it's, you know, we start talking about doing our, our lab panels, we do a tremendous amount of work for say $150, $160, mm -hmm. tremendous amount. Much more than you're gonna get if you go to your doc complaining and so on. Because now the, the regulations say that, you know, you've gotta have a complaint uh, uh, that justifies this particular right. Each uh, test lab has work. to be right. justified by a diagnosis code. So and, and sometimes you just have to get in there and, like, say, just you know, look around and just see what's look going and on. See. Yeah. Um, you know, the earlier question was about lupus, and we mm -hmm. even do have a panel that does check for the autoimmune diseases. It does do your RA and it mm -hmm. does the ANA, which looks for some of the other right. autoimmune diseases. And it, I mean, it's a little bit more expensive. It's like 270, yeah. but when you start looking at those tests, if you go have them done somewhere else, you're talking about the thousands. Wow. So yeah. we so. do some of the, um, also that kind of testing as well. I mean, we have, you know, ca extra cardiac tests we do. We have, okay. there's a lot of different things. That's why we tell people come in and talk to us and let's see which one's right for you. Okay, our, uh, we got some calls on the uh, coming in. We will get to your calls in just a moment. We're going to take a quick break and come back with our final segment, plus this week's special yeah. here on our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy. And welcome back to our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy with Dr. Jim and Janine Fox of uh, Dr. Nutrition. Uh, Renee of St. Martin is on the phone with us. Good morning, Renee. Well, oh, Renee was on Renee the phone. Was on the line. phone. I guess Renee didn't want to wait. Yeah. Um, uh, someone called in with a question, Crohn's disease. What can you do for it? Well, you know, it's an autoimmune type thing linked to that. And, you know, the, you, we talked about probiotics earlier. That's probably one of the number one things. You know, typically there's things that, <clears throat> that are happening to 
irritate that gut, you know, constantly. And so probiotics are a big part of it. Certain diet restrictions are a big part of it. Uh, there's a host of supplements that you can take yep. that will help that digestion. You know, everything yep. from pancreatic enzymes to probiotics to beta you name earlier it. earlier we talked about yeah. for lupus, mm -hmm. the colostrum and the olive ear, which also we Huge. can use for Crohn's as well. Um, but with Crohn's, we have something called GI essentials that also helps heal the lining of the intestines, but you also have to stop irritating it, like you said. That's so the number one thing. Change is, in the uh, diet and the mm -hmm. grains are big inflammatories and you gotta right. get away from inflammatory foods because right. inflammation tends yeah. to make it worse. Yeah, that's, And stress that's, always makes it worse too. Oh, People yeah. with Crohn's will always tell you that when they're stressed out. It's worse, it, it flares up. It oh, flares man. up big time. So yeah. controlling stress is also a big part of it too. And if you want to, um, you want to get some uh, 5-HTP for that. Yes, as long as you're not on certain medications. <laughs> right, but, right, right, right. Um, oh. Okay, uh, Renee, we got you back on the phone. Good morning, Renee. Good morning. Morning. How are you? Good. Fine. Thank you. Thank you for taking my call. I want to ask if there's any topical products for severe psoriasis. Topical? Yes. I mean, there's some things that'll help. Um, we do have something called Sorema sur cream. Yeah, Sorzerma. Sorema cream. It's Sorema, yeah, or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And then it also has a body wash that goes mm -hmm. with it because dry things that dry tend to make mm -hmm. it worse. Okay. So we have stuff that specifically doesn't have the chemicals in it because a lot of your regular soaps also flared up. Yeah. Um, changing the diet also can help psoriasis Yeah, as well. and then, you know, it's back to that immune system because it's more of an immune type detoxification kind of problem that's going on. So you, it really gets complicated and a lot of changes have to be made sometimes internally as well as doing oh. something externally, you know. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, that really does clarify a lot yeah. for me. And uh, I believe we'll just take a trip down to the doctor's nutrition. That sounds good. <laughs> well, there you go. Right. <laughs> thank, thank you so much for your thank assistance. You, thank you. And in case you're wondering where they are, uh, we mentioned all the time that they're on Cowan Road, just south yeah. of Pass Road. If you come off yeah. of the uh, Lorraine Road exit of I-10, uh, you go south, you go across the two bridges. When you get to Pass Road, go, go straight, straight, you'll see them right on the left-hand side there. Can't yep. miss it. Can't miss it. And then if you're coming Highway 90, you want to turn there at uh, Cowan Road off the beach. You go north, cross the tracks, and just before you get to Pass Road, it's okay. going to be on the right-hand side. And, uh, Easy to find. They're open uh, 10 to 5, Monday through Friday, and uh, 11 to 2 on Saturday. 11 to 2 on Saturday. Uh, doctors uh, Jim and Janine are there on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and Dr. Mays is there on uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Wednesday and Fridays. And we're back to normal everything now hours. Of course, with Christmas and New Year's, we've had some everything days on. that it, we were off, and so now back to normal. Well, there you go. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we got a few minutes left on our phone line, so you can call in 896-0713-800-349-0713, our, our uh, open line Monday. We'll get to the daily special since we don't yeah. have a call yeah. right now. Yeah, weekly special. Yeah, yeah weekly special, weekly. not daily. Yeah. Um, uh, arabinogalactin, which arabinogalactin is used to help with the immune system. And it's really good to where if the first sign of a sniffle or any kind of cold or the flu, you start taking it and it really does help knock it out. Um, yeah. And it's so safe that you can give it to a baby. I was gonna say, it's, it's great for kids. Great for pediatrics. It yeah. is okay. in a powdered form where you mix it up and drink it. So yeah. any and kid I see a lot it. of my friends on Facebook right now saying, oh, I got this crud, I can't get rid of it, it's been hanging on, or I've had this cough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This I've had this cough for a long time. Yes. And it's a, you know, one of the things that help you get rid of the cough, drink a lot of water. Yes. yes. I mean, yes. I'll say that from experience. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie and Patricia from Van Cleve ask, uh, heating, Omega three, is it is it bad for your heart? What heating them or eating them? Um, you don't want to overheat them. That's for sure. I mean, in other words, you know, high temperature can cause damage to the omega three fats themselves. Now, would that be bad for your heart? Mm, not good. Eating them, you know, that's why you want your your fish. You know, that it's not overcooked. You know, for instance, the wild caught salmon, uh, sardines, things like that. That um, that's where you're going to get most of your omega threes that are actually beneficial to the heart. Um, now, a lot of omega-3s, if they're heated too much, they go rancid. They, that's and usually you rancid, smell yeah. it. Usually yeah. that strong, they got a pretty strong odor, odor. Yeah. is rancid. And it's just not going to have the benefits it has if it wasn't heated. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, we have a caller on the air uh, with a question. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Morning. Fine, fine. Okay. What I'm calling about is I got these white spots all over my back, uh -huh. down my forearms. And I went all over the internet. I don't know what's causing it. It could it could be a form of like vitiligo, if possible. Well, it just depends on what they look like. Yeah, you um, have to see them. To you'd really have to tell see you. them, but yeah. a lot of times the white spots can also be a fungus on the skin. They can. Um, so it just depends on what it looks like. Vitiligo is pretty significant non-pigment. 
yes. white spot. So it just, it, if you come by, we'll look at it because there's differences yeah. in the way it looks. Remember, that's what uh, Michael Jackson yes. uh, fought for a you know, long yeah. time. In now, vitiligo, vitiligo is an autoimmune problem, but mm -hmm. I do see a lot of people with the white spots on them where it's fungal. Mm -hmm. And so an antifungal topical usually will help that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And there's quite a few of those. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, Sheila from Socia is on the phone with a question. Good morning, Sheila. Hi. Hi. What um, can I do for I you? I was calling. Um, I was um, they. I was diagnosed. They said like um, hypothyroidism. Uh huh. I guess because they put me on Synthroid. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't like the way the Synthroid was making me feel, so I just quit taking it. Um, do y'all test for that? Yes. We do, okay. and it's not good to just. You need something. If the thyroid is underactive, you do need something. Now, we do have an alternative to Synthroid that works in most cases, not all, um, where it's a natural thyroid, mm -hmm. and it comes from a pig. I mean, that's where they get it from, but it is natural. First thing you'd want to do is test for it, and we do four different tests on the thyroid. We don't just do a TSH. We do a TSH, T4, T3 uptake, and a free T3 and see exactly what's going on. And then we can kind of go from there and see if what we have we think will work. Exactly. It just depends on how severe the thyroid is. But we'd be but glad we, to we test definitely, that's one of the things we deal with a lot is yeah. thyroid. Great, I yeah. will come by. Okay, okay. sounds Thanks good. So much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your call. We've got a couple of minutes left. So if you have a question, we squeeze you in. 896-0713-800-349-0713. Um, I believe Penny from Diamond Head. Yes. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Morning. Um, I have had plantar fasciitis in my right foot huh? since about last April. Wow. And I have, um, I, I wear nothing but either inserts in my shoes or the Vionics um, mm -hmm. ortho heel type shoes. And I mean, seriously, even when I just put my feet out of the bed, um, it hurts. Even in the middle of the night, yeah, I don't hurts. ever not wear these things. But it hasn't, it, it, it sort of uh, gets a little bit better. And even with the orthotics, when I uh, do my treadmill or anything mm -hmm. else, or even just shop during the day, I just, it, it just seems like it's just not going away. I really don't want to um, experience a surgery or anything like that because I've heard that it can come right back and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, that's true. If you come by, Penny, we've got some, you know, simple exercises that we can show you, things that you can do at home and some, you know, some great anti-inflammatories. I mean, that's a biggie. Right. Uh, getting that inflammation down, you know, things like the bromelain. Uh, there, there's quite a few things that we use. And I can show you definitely some things that you can do at home to maybe oh, yeah. make it better. And because yeah. that's one of the things, and even dip, deep friction massage, um, even seeing a massage therapist and getting, yeah. it takes deep friction though, but I can show you. Or we'll show you how to use show you how to do it. Yeah. And, I, and I can tell you from personal experience because my wife does a mm -hmm. lot of crocheting and everything. And so this arm and here and everything, mm -hmm. and she started taking the brown lane. The brown makes a big difference. She swears by it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's great. You know, yeah. she'll let me know too if she's getting low. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, that you don't you're run right. out of right. like the uh, the massage. You got to do I that deep some, friction massage. Somebody had a question real quick before we get off. That does Medicare pay for our services? And we do not deal with any insurance at all. Well, because so, no, they don't pay for. So it. they don't. No. Yes. So I just wanted to answer that question. Okay. Um, Carl, uh, New Year um, next week. We're going to talk about something that everybody wants to do: weight loss. Right. We're going to talk about you know things you can do and lifestyle changes you can make to make it easier. And yeah. it really is. It really is. And a great, I, a great diet plan yeah. that they have that, uh, that uh, you still eat very, very well. Right. Very well. So once again, thank you for being with us here again this week. And we will see you next Monday morning at 9 o'clock, bright and early, for our weekly live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy.